Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a quick video on how to clean your Hydro Flask thoroughly. Now, this is not really talked about on any website or anything, and even on the Hydro Flask website, it just basically asks you to use vinegar or to rinse it, which I thought was kind of silly. Anyways, if you haven't already, please like subscribe to the Story W channel, and of course hit the bell button for more DIYs and other fun, useful stuff. You'll need a bottle brush, some uh, liquid dish soap, as well as a toothpick to do this cleaning of your Hydro Flask or any other insulated bottle that costs like really a lot of money. I have so many insulated bottles, but my Hydro Flask stays with me every day and I drink water, coffee, everything from it. But this is a thorough video on how to clean the lid as well as the seal and gasket, which holds a lot of dirt. And no one talks about this on any of the sites. They all they talk about is the foul odor smell. So the first easy cleaning, of course, is just to basically use some um, hot water and some and your bottle brush, clean it with your uh, liquid detergent or liquid dish soap, I'm sorry, dish soap. And just make sure you wash it right above everything on the sides and make sure you clean the, um, the lip as well. Because that's where you drink from it. Whether you're drinking water, coffee, or anything, you want to make sure this is nice and clean. Especially if you have um, protein drinks and other coffee drinks because the milk will build up inside and will, you know, basically cause smells inside the bottle. You also definitely want to wash the lip with soap and hot water because that's where your mouth goes and the saliva and bacteria and protein or whatever else builds up there and it will cause the bottle to stink. So definitely, definitely wash with you know, soapy water and rinse it off. Uh, that's the easy part. That's what everyone talks about. Uh, but the easy to say, oh, use the vinegar or use lemon juice. And so okay, so few days. No, just use hot water and do this literally, and you don't have issues with your bottle. I mean, this is not my first Hydro Flask, but this Hydro Flask has lasted me a long time, so I want to keep it. You can also just clean the under, take that boot off and clean that off too, because water does collect there. Um, and it does really stain the paint of the, I don't know if I'm stain it, but, you know, it probably keeps the better thing. It, I do have white distilled vinegar. I tried that method, and I don't care for it. Um, I think it's kind of silly. Anyways. For the cap, here's the thing. Stuff builds up underneath it. Please clean it out because that causes smell too. And also there's also dirt that comes with it. You need a toothpick. Go ahead and choose toothpicks, two toothpicks and pull it out. Notice that it's upside down. It's not, Dirty. Um, it's a, there's a bellow edge to this. So the, the flat you know, wide part actually goes upward. So just keep in mind of that. So you gotta take out that thing, uh, the gasket, go ahead and wash it. Now this gasket will last for a long time. They, they sell other gaskets online. I'll leave a few links below. But why? It, this gasket has lasted me probably much, what, six months now? Just make sure you clean the insides of it. There's a lot of dust that, and dirt that builds up on it. Again, you could totally use what they recommend on the website with the white vinegar and soaking it. But to be honest, it's the only clean way I could think of that I do personally to make sure that cap is clean, the dirt is removed, Stuffed off, and now that gasket is nice and clear again. Otherwise, it starts building up mold and whatever else builds up underneath there and bacteria. That's not exactly safe. So installing this thing again, it you know you can let it dry and stuff, but I'm gonna reuse this almost immediately. So I don't care if it's wet. It's already washed anyways and rinsed. To install it, make sure the top uh, wide bevel is actually on top. That's kind of the reverse of what you think. Um, I did email Hydro Flask and asked if that was correct. They said it was. And I even showed them a picture because that's how I removed it. So that's originally like that. The fat, the um, the base part actually goes on top so that when it closes, it has a better seal. It locks in the seal. So but it also means that there's pretty things that's trapped in it. So anyways, you could probably reverse it, but I wouldn't think so. That's how it's originally done uh, for the seal, for the cap. So there's the big secret. Apparently no one talks about this stuff. So... I figured I made a video of it. So like, subscribe, of course, and there's your clean Hydro Flask or any other, you know, expensive insulated bottle that you use. Of course, like, subscribe, leave some comments below what you think, as well as thanks to 10,000 plus subscribers to the Sewing W channel. Can't do it with you guys, whether it's DIYs or how-tos, like for normal stuff or adulting stuff, you know, let me know what you want to, you know, anything interesting that you want to know about. And of course, all the fun uh, DIYs as unboxings I do with you know stuff I use around the house or things that make life a little easier. Again, you know, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time on the next video. See you next time. Bye bye.